sitting comfortably. Good. Then shall us begin? Guys. <laughs> yes, Doris? <laughs> oh, Mr. Smith. I do beg your pardon, Miss Ewell, but sitting here like this, the years rolled back, you know. I used to pull Beatrice Thwaite Tupnell's pigtails. <laughs> well, kindly act out your childhood fantasies somewhere else. Oh, Ooh, I like to act out my manhood fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Stand. Oh, sit. And the ladies all present and great all. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Norman. Uh, now, staff, I have called you here because I have been thinking. Oh. <laughs> and what I have been thinking of is this. <laughs> Nothing. Fairly typical, I should imagine. No, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll do make your palms up. Wow. Oh, no. Well, why not? Oh. Eaton has its old Etonians, yeah. Harrow has its old Horovians, and we, the Fen Street Secondary Modern School, incorporating Weaver Street, should have its Fen Street Sec Mod Weaveranians. Mm. <laughs> You're so literal, Norman. Thank you, sir. I try to do my best, sir. Shortened, of course, to the old Fenians, and the first old Fenian day will be, will take place here. On Saturday next. Look, Headmaster, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Finn Street isn't eaten. It's not even a good class Boston. <laughs> but it should be pricey. We have a duty to remind all those young people who leave here every year to enter the scrummage, which is the great football of, uh, match of life. We owe a duty to remind them of the standards and the values instilled into them when they were here at their dear old alma mater, Finn Street. Loyalty. Honour, tradition, booze, birds, and bucky. <laughs> cynicism, Pricey, cynicism. And cynicism. And what better way of reminding them by inviting them to become members of the old Fenians Association? Beautifully spoken, Fenians. Spoken like a true auditorial. Uh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> and now, a voila! What on earth is that? The old Fenian tie. Original <laughs> design by Norman Esketh <clears throat> Next, please. That's all. It trolla. No, no, no! I'm so sorry, but it wasn't me, sir. It was that rotten Weaver Street lot. <laughs> the old Fenian boater. Well, come along now. Some comment, Pricey. What does that look like to your experienced eye? Saturday night after the pubs turn out. <laughs> Why, Headmaster, where the old Fenians are going to buy their ties and boaters? From the school shop. And we haven't got a school shop. Semantic quibble. Norman has a contact uh, with the rag trade. Selling rags, presumably. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see I shall have to bring my big gun to bear, Norman. Oh. Now, this is my big gun. We shall need an old Fenian song. Oh. And this is an inducement to any member of the staff who can come up with a suitable composition. <clears throat> It Trolla. <laughs> Am I, Bob? It is a silver chalice. <clears throat> goblet, Norman, goblet. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but what's it for? It is an award for the finest composition. Oh. Augmented, of course, by a slight financial award of ten pounds from my own pocket. Oh, that's oh, good. So there. Yes. Now, while you are merrily composing, you can think of those dear young people who will shortly be receiving an invitation to the first old Fenian day. Now, just think of their little faces. I am, and I suddenly feel very sick. <laughs> oh, what? They've got to be joking. <laughs> I'm an old Fenian. Ha, <laughs> ha. That's right. Just been invited back to the scene of me former academic triumphs and that, right? <laughs> Mate, I know you're a bit uh, overawed in me presence, like, but uh, this invite don't make no difference to our relationship, honest. <laughs> when me commissioning the Royal Horse Guards comes through, mate, you find me at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I'll wear a hat if you will. All right. Difficult to know what sort to choose when you're an old girl. Oh. Perhaps we could get something in the school colours. Mm. Yeah, what are you thinking? Oh, what were the school colours? I don't think we had any. <laughs> Thanks. 
Nick Stubing. Why, it's traditional, isn't it? Not for me, baby. You won't catch me going back to my school. Oh, I don't know. Old school reunion, returning war hero. Yeah, I suppose I am. Right then, let's see what your grateful country can do for you, eh? <laughs> Frankie? What? Wrong leg, mate. Oh. Is that, is that you, Madge? I, I can't hear you, darling. It's a bad line. You'll have to speak up. Oh, just a minute. Silly old me. <laughs> Hello, darling. <coughs> oh, there's no need to shout like that, my sweet. I can hear you perfectly well now. Look, do you remember uh, when we were having our hot chocolate indigestives, you said it was high time I should have a go at writing a song? <laughs> Yes, well, well, you were right, darling. Now, just listen to this. <laughs> no, darling, that's not me. That's, uh, that's Price. I'm sorry, I shall have to play you mine when I get home. My, my aperture is stopped up. <laughs> well, I, I'll see you in a few hours, my sweet. Oh, don't forget to turn your waffles. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's no good, Smitty. We'll have to stop this war of sonics. I can get my lyrics, but I can't get a tune. Oh, vice versa with me, Price. Ah, oh, well, perhaps we ought to do a Jack Spratt and his wife, then. A, a collaboration, you mean? Yes. <laughs> Music by Osborne Smith. Lyrics by Vaughan R. Price. <laughs> Gilbert and Sullivan. Leonard and McCartney. Rogers and Hart. Learner and Lowe. Schwartz and Dietz. Bill and Ben. <laughs> <laughs> the flower pop man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'll tell you what, Monsieur. You show me your composition and I'll show you mine. Certainly not. What a preposterous idea. Oh, I bet yours is a little cracker, you know. Go on, give us a quick burst. Stop trying to ingratiate yourself with me, Potter, and get to the point. Ah, yes. Well, now, see what it is, Monsieur. You see, I'm just wondering if you would kindly sort of write down my little tune for me, you see, on paper. See what I mean? Because, you see, at the moment, it's going on up here, see? And I want to get it from here down onto there, you see. Oh, very well. What key is it in? Uh, well, what keys have you got? <laughs> Never mind, just la light. Pardon? La light. La 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 la. Oh, is that your tune? Yeah. That's quite good, that tune, you know. That's very nice. It sort of uh, flows, to use a musical expression, you know. But I do think it's a bit sort of, uh, well, it's sort of derivative, really, you know what I mean? It's a scale, Potter. Ah, that's it. That's just the word I was looking for, a scale. Yes, it wants to be a bit more of a tune, doesn't it? You know. <laughs> well, come on, man. Whistle it or something. Ah, well, you get it down, you mean. Good idea there. Right, stand by now. Wait a minute. Uh... <laughs> well, hum it, then. Well, can't you take down whistling? Oh. Oh, all right, well, I'll hum it then. Would you give me a note? Try the F. Oh, Lombard. Potter! Was I going too fast for you? That's the Eaton Boating song. No, no, no. That's the Fen Street Boater song. Oh, it's a plagiarism. Yeah. Ah, well, you may be right, Michelle. Sure. I thought it was a waltz, you know. A plagiarism is taking someone else's thoughts, writings or inventions as one's own. Oh, yes. Well, yes, I know that. Uh, plagiarism. Yes, of course, naturally. Uh, here, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And you were trying to say that I pinched your tune. Well, oh, my song is much better than your mouldy old scale. <laughs> been done and all. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you mean, Price? The Weaver Street Choir? What I say, I persuaded the Weaver Street Mob to form a school choir for the great day. Oh. Capital, Pricey, capital. Uh, the spirit of tradition is like a common cold, infectious. <laughs> <laughs> but how, Price? I mean, if even Miss Ewell couldn't persuade them, then... Ah, psychology, Smithy, psychology. Well done, Pricey. 
Oh, now, uh, thank you. Now, now, Smithy, we sent out, didn't we, 220 invitations? Uh, 221. Oh, you little pedant. <laughs> and how many acceptances did we get? Well, I have to admit, Headmaster, more than I expected. Nine. Eleven. Oh, well, it's the soccer team. <laughs> What's that pong? Mr. Pratt's. Hey? No, it's not you, Doris. <laughs> Must be one of these. Oh, it's this. I remember now it's Shara Neversley. Oh, she must be quite a big girl now. Mr. Price, you're doing your Humbert Humbert again. Oh, Doris reading Lolita. There's naughty. <laughs> oh, I say, listen to this. Miss Eversley thanks Mr. Morris Cromwell for his kind invitation and has great pleasure in graciously accepting same. Lots of love from Sharon. Ah, oh, bless well, at sir. least she's tried. Which is more than one can say for her erstwhile paramour, Eric Duffy. He simply scrawled across his invitation, Tarcock, see you Saturday. <laughs> oh, well, it's short and to the point anyway. But, uh, this one is rather mysterious. Well, what can it mean, do you suppose? In answer to your invitation, please find enclosed garment. It's obvious, isn't it? Mm. Oh. Mr. Price. <laughs> Old old. Well, I ain't changed much, has it? <laughs> Not so much as a light bulb. Sort of smaller, though. Plus, ça change! Eh? Hey? French! It means the more things change, the more they remain the same. Yeah, weird geezers, isn't it, them French? <laughs> I agree with Maureen. Uh. Oh! What is it, Sean? No! My chewing gum. <laughs> I left it there the last day of term. Makes yeah. you think, doesn't it? Yeah, double nostalgic. <laughs> Look, that's where he used to sit, sir. Mr. Hedges. I mean, Bernard. All those handkerchiefs he used to lend me. I was so happy then. <laughs> oh, come off it, Maud. Don't start. Oh, look at you, all the cats dragging. <laughs> meow, meow. What's that? That's the cat, that is. Oh. Yeah, Frankie ain't seen them before. Nah, well, I don't make a fuss. But it did say, you know, on the invitation, decorations will be worn. What'd you get this one for then, Frankie? Long service. Lying, and it was only in 12 weeks. Yeah, but I bet it seemed like 10 years to all the others. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't get that one for nothing, Tot. Oh, how much did it cost then, Frankie? <laughs> this, then, boy, is the purple art. Nah, only the Yanks get that, eh? Ah, well, that's all you know. This is the British purple art, innit? We got it for you, Warwing, didn't you, Frankie? Oh, yeah, when he stabbed himself in the <laughs> front. <laughs> oh, oh, me shrapnel. Oh, me shrapnel. <laughs> hello, Frankie. How are you then, eh? All right. I hear you've got some in London. Where'd you get your lot, then? Oh, I got shot in the Legion. Uh, mine was in Tobruk, you know. Yeah, capturing a machine gun nest. Single-handed. Oh, you heard about that, did you? <laughs> You were never there, land. You were too young, surely, weren't you? Oh, come on, Uncle Norman. This is an old friend's day. Yes, right. Now then, just a minute. Hang on a tick. Very comical. Very comical. Now watch this. Watch it. Look. Look at that then. It trollop. Oh, always was a bit of a flasher, weren't you, Uncle? <laughs> <laughs> that is the old Fenian tie. There's also an old Fenian boater, but if you want to see that, you know, you'll have to come visit me in my cubbyhole. Oh, why? Because the impediment rampants fell off and I had to do a quick toodaloo on it. <laughs> quick what? Toodaloo, glue, sonny boy, glue. Oh, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm taking orders for the tie. Now, it's 95 uh, P for one and 180 for two. See. An old quid for a bit of mopping tat like that, you off your head. It always was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have one, Mr. Potter. Good lad, Frankie. I'll have them one tie, old Fenian, for the use of 95p. Thank you. 
I'll have to owe it, yeah. Oh, dear, let go. It's all right, it's all right, I trust him. Do ya? You must be mad, mate. There is no need to mock. Nah, nah. <clears throat> no. <laughs> because I can see myself in this lad, you know. Tell me, Frankie, did you go uh, over there? Hey? Eh? <laughs> go over there. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh, he's mad, that lot. That's why you see yourself in him. Yeah, right. You haven't changed it, have you? You're the same horrible lot, aren't you? And to think that I wrote a symphony for you lot. A symphony? Yes, an old Fenian song. Yeah, Pete, we used to have our own yeah, school yeah, song. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Life presents a gloomy picture. Wait, 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 wait. That's just a plagiarism, that. Eh? Oh, mine's much more professional than that, you know, but naturally, of course. Oh, modesty for beat. Exactly. As soon as I got into Tin Pot Alley, you know, my whole life expanded. Yeah, along with your red. <laughs> you can say that again while I'm being bombarded by music publishers. Why wait, mate? We'll bombard you right now. What? What? Hey, hey, on, hey, 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 hey. Hello, hello. I see we've got the Chelsea pensioners in then. Who on earth is that child? What are you doing in here then, eh? You were laughing into trouble from you know who. Yeah, don't make me laugh, that old boiler. Yeah, it's got to be Doris. Yeah. Yeah. Tell her to get knotted, mate. Oh, kid. He's a right perk, isn't he? Old Uncle Norman. Who the hell are you? You are. You heard? Oh, how delightful. Sauce. No. Cheek. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> ah, it's all right, sunshine. We know how you feel. Been through it ourselves, haven't we? Oh, I'll get it now. You're the old crocs, <laughs> ain't you? Old Fenians, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, I know all about you, lot. Load of softies. Oh, yeah. Well, you're as hard as nails, I suppose, dear. Bloody hand, mate. Duck you up any day of the week. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah! It's <laughs> alright, just testing you. Right. Now then, anybody else want to start something? Oh, there you are, Terry. Hey, who's this lot then? Don't ask. We are 5C. 5C? But we're 5C. Isn't we, Terry? Of course we are, you great nana. Of course we are, you great nana. <laughs> Who are you calling a nana, you big cock? I'm fucking leave it. Yeah, you're Sharon Eversley, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Hey, see, Celia, come back here. I've seen you in your shop. Me and Celia go in there Saturdays. Sometimes. Only nothing never fits. Got no shape, you know. Great lump I am. Not like Celia here. Don't she go on? Yeah, you two. No fraternising. Yeah, no fra... What you said to her. Oh, Terry. Bloody women. Bloody women. Yeah, you can say that again, mate. Here, what you lot doing here on a Saturday morning, anyway? We're in a choir. Eh? Hey? Of course, sir. I offered them one of my compositions, you know. But they turned it down. Mm. Professional jealousy, you know. Yeah. Hey, do you want to hear it? No, yeah. they don't. Here, who wrote you into this, anyway? Well, it's because of prices. Yes. It was because of prices. Well, you see, old mother you. Yeah. Well, she went on and on at us to be in her stupid choir, you see. Of course, we said you must be joking. And old price, he stuck his yeah, all in, yeah. he? Yeah, Who's telling this, me or you? You are, Terry. Right. Then old price, he stuck his all in, see, and says, if we're going to be in a choir, it'll be over his dead body. Over his dead body? Well, I mean, we didn't have no choice then, did we? We had to do it. <laughs> Tell old well, son, you're a broke after me own heart. Well, it's like I was at your age. Was your daddy nicking all then? <laughs> and in conclusion, I can only say how deeply moved I am to see such a, yes, yes, such a, a bumper turnout on this very special occasion. <laughs> no, no, really, Morris, really. I am reminded of a very amusing story. Yeah, there was an Englishman, an Irishman and a Scotsman. <laughs> no, 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 only an Englishman. Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> My old tutor, M. V. Standish. <laughs> he once said to me, I shall never forget his words, <laughs> Morris, he said, Morris, uh, uh, he's bloody forgotten. <laughs> yeah, get on with the Eurovision Song Contest. Hey. Yeah. You're quite right, Albert. <clears throat> right, man. No, 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 you're a barnstable. You're still mad. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Please. Now, as the headmaster explained at the beginning of his inaugural address, the number and quality of the entries for the old Fenian song competition have been most gratifying. <clears throat> the Dio Doris. Pardon? <laughs> Merci bien. Now, Norman. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now. This handsome silver goblet 
will later... <gasps> ..will later be inscribed with the name of the winning composer. Just about get his initials on it. He will also receive a small financial reward. <laughs> now, 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 all the entries have been so good that I have decided that you shall hear them all. Yeah. Yes, yes, I knew you can't wait to hear them. Very well, then. Without more ado, I will call upon our own flying-fingered Miss Ewell to accompany the first composition. We have also trained a special choir for this occasion. Enter! Why are they all wearing frocks? Now, the, the first entry is a collaboration between Mr Smith and Mr Price. Remember, Pricey, over your dead body. Street and Alma Mater, Elma Street and a Warwick Tree, Gilpin and all ingredients, make life a mystery. The next entry uh, is a surprise item from our domestic Mozart, Mr. Norman Potter. Oh, it's Tom Jones! <laughs> I hope he's busy trousers! <laughs> I hardly think we need Potter's composition. Oh, really, really, as he dropped. Remember that Fence Street is a democracy above all else. Oh, very well, Morris. On your own head be it. Fellow fans, I would just like to give you now my little contribution. Thank you very much. <laughs> the words of music, of course, are by myself, except for line three, which was written by my Ruby when she was making the apple crumble. <laughs> ah, if you were giving me a flux, please, Michelle. Thank you. When you enter Fen Street, opportunity knows. <laughs> Why not give it a go, then? And pull out your soul. Let's take a first now. Boris Cromwell. In What a fantastic man. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What about our show? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Perhaps can you move it? Now, do we? Right, one, two, three. Life presents a gloomy picture Cromwell's balmy right round the twist Smith is snoring, Price is boring 